Hey everybody, it's Gumplamelli. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys have been doing fantastic and have been having a great week. Today I have a pretty interesting review. I know it's a little different from what, what I normally review on this channel. I normally I normally do Gundam kits, but you know, I do like to try different model kits out there, not just Gundam, you know, spice things up, keep it a little different. So today, as you guys obviously know from the title and thumbnail, I got ta-da! This guy right here, this is the box. If you guys can see, it is an, let's focus, an Evangelion crawfish. Yes, you heard me right, a crawfish, and I believe this is the a Louisiana crawfish. Um, this actually got released in two versions. You have Evangelion Unit 1, and it also released as Evangelion Unit 2. Here are the sides of the box. And of course, it's Evangelion, so, you know, kind of even more interesting. Like, why, who thought of a collab of a crawfish and Evangelion. Like, I really, I really wish I could be a fly on the wall listening into this, like, sales pitch between, you know, Evangelion and the creator of this and be like, you know, what would be a great idea? Let's combine crawfish and Evangelion franchise together. Like, how? How did this happen? This kit is actually not made by Bandai. For some reason, I thought it was made by Bandai, and it's not. It's made by a different company, and it's called Fujimi, I believe. Yeah, Fujimi Model Kit. So yes, I got the purple one. I really want to get both, but they're kind of expensive. This is giving me major face hugger vibes right here. Fortunately, the audio got messed up in the beginning, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly what comes inside the box, a little bit of the manual overview, and the sticker sheet that's included in the kit. Okay, so here is the little guy all snapped up and put together. This is what it looks like. Now let us take a look at the articulation. So this guy is quite poseable. He has a lot of individual joints, so that's pretty cool. So here for his, um, I really want to call them whiskers, but I know they're not called whiskers. They're antenna, antennae. So the ones up here aren't really movable. I mean, you can wiggle them around, but that's because they're a little loose. They just get popped into place. These, however, are posable. They can move all the way like that and you can bring them back in. So, have a little bit of options. And again, this is a joint down in here as well. So, you are able to move this kind of up and down a little bit. Now for in here, these are individually articulated as well. However, there is no articulation here at the second point of the appendage. I'm honestly not sure what these are called. But you know what I'm saying? Like right here, there's no joint. And up here, there's no joint. So it's a fixed position. You only have articulation down in here. And so you can move them all around, swivel them, you know, put them in whatever direction you like. But they kind of are supposed to be looking like this. Now, in terms of the big claw right here, you have a point of articulation right here at the base. Then you have one up here at the second elbow appendage. And then you have here at the big, well, the big claw, the bottom claw. So you are able to kind of go up and down, you know, point in different directions. And then here, it can kind of ang be angled up like this. So this position of this camera is a little wonky for me. Um, just so you can go up, out like this, and then you can bend this one to go inside. So pretty cool in terms of the articulation. And for the big claw, it can go a little bit up and down. And that's it in terms of the articulation. I kind of wish it would close but it won't close unfortunately so you're gonna have this little gap in here and that is it for the claws now for these bottom spider looking legs it honestly it's a little gross looking um but i'm not the biggest fan of i keep thinking this is an insect it's not an insect uh crustacean so these are individually articulated but it kind of stinks that here again you have no movement here and no movement here so this is all a fixed position i don't know if that would have made the model weaker in terms of holding himself up because he can be propped up on his legs i just kind of wish they would have been individually articulated because i feel like he could have you know i don't know played with this more i guess maybe i'm being too picky but yes you have all of these 
can go right or left. So you can kind of put them in facing whichever direction you would like. There really is no movement to go up and down. Now there's nothing in here. It's all solid. Now moving down here, you have these two arms, hands, and these guys are also individually articulated. They are in like a ball and socket. So you can kind of point them in whatever direction you want to put them in, but you know, they kind of get in the way. So I just tuck them down in there between these two legs right here. Are also movable. You can move them sideways. These were really annoying because they kept popping off. I was struggling with these. So I kind of really don't want to mess with them. I really like this kind of clear plastic. I don't know what it is. It's really grossing me out, but it looks kind of neat at the same time. Now, what's really cool about this tail is you can see here that because of this, how they are connected individually, you can curl them up really well. So you get quite a bit of bend in there. Like they're, it's basically touching his underside. So a lot of bend and I think that looks really cool. I don't know if it's because this is how they shoot backward to evade their predators. Like I said, I'm not an expert in crawfish. So please let me know in the comments. And you also have, crap, but you do get quite a bend upwards like that. Now, one thing that I do like a lot is the tail is also able to move side to side. Now for the tail in here, you got his little flaps. They are articulated as well. So you can kind of expand them to go that far out and the inner ones as well. You guys can take a look at the surface detail of this kit is fantastic. Kind of did poke myself quite a few times pushing pieces together because of these uh, thorns or claw, not claw, uh, sharp pointy things, okay? Especially in here, they can be quite uh, pointy and stabby. He just looks so realistic, the texture on him, everything. The only thing that I had an issue with are these stickers, they just look terrible, but I did kind of want to put them on there because I thought they looked cool. But I do feel like they kind of take away from the kit itself compared to, you know, because there's just no texture on the stickers, obviously, because they're stickers. But the tail on the legs don't really have a lot of texture. But as you can see, there are like these tiny little holes all over the leg. All these little tiny holes all over the surface. And it also has kind of flaps for the tail back here, as you can see. I kind of wish maybe they would have made this rubber or something to look a little different from the plastic. For the underside, as you guys can see, it is really, really detailed. Because they didn't even have to do this. It could have just been a solid piece of, you know, a solid piece of plastic. But they really went in here and kind of stayed true to the organism. Now, I wonder if this is a male or female. If you guys know, let me in the, no, let me know. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Let me know in the comments below if this is a boy or a girl because I have no way of knowing. Now, overall, this guy doesn't have a lot of nub marks, which is really good because I absolutely hate those things. There are a few that I just couldn't kind of get in there with the nippers correctly, so I just need to go in and they're kind of polish up with you know some uh, sanding sticks or something to kind of get rid of them. But the seam lines really aren't that bad except along the major claw. You can see right there, a big seam line on each of the claws. But if you, you know, the way you position it, you can kind of get away with not being able to see them. On the body, really, there's no seam lines. Okay, so here he is laying next to a RX-782 high grade. So obviously much lower, you know, but if you were to kind of stand him up, he's just about the size of a hybrid, the body, but with the claws and all, obviously he's gonna be much taller. All right, now let's take a look at him compared to a Master Grade. Laying next to a Master Grade RX-782. And there he is standing up. So I would say, I guess fully he's the size of a Master Grade. And this is without his claws being like fully extended. So maybe he's not as small as I thought he was gonna be or is, but I still feel like he could be a little bit bigger for what, you know, what you get. Okay, so now to go over a little bit of my final thoughts on this kit. Do I recommend it? Did I enjoy it? I'm going to say is that I actually did have a lot of fun putting this together, surprisingly. I don't know if it's because of 
how weird and different it was. The only major issue I have with this is honestly the price tag. I feel like it's kind of expensive. I believe I got this for $55 and I just feel like it's pretty steep. I don't know if it's $55 because of it's a special collaboration. I'm not too sure. I think I did look up this company and they have other crawfish for a much cheaper price tag. But I do feel like it's kind of expensive for what you get, mainly, can't talk today, mainly due to the size. I just feel like if it would have been the size of the Magic Carp that I recently reviewed, I would have been much happier. Now, if I had to pick, if I'm just going to make a comparison here between the, this crawfish and the Magic Carp Pokemon, hands down the crawfish wins because just the fact that it's articulated, the color separation, surface detail, everything, I prefer this model kit and I enjoyed putting this together. It did take me, I don't know, maybe an hour, about an hour or so um, to put this guy together. So you do get quite a bit of build time with this model kit. The other issue I have with this is um, I didn't like those stickers. Of course, it's stickers. They're not gonna look very good. And then the two big seam lines you have running down the claws, but that is an easy fix, you know, if you know how to do that. All right, so that concludes my review of this Evangelion Louisiana Crawfish. If you have the chance to scoop up this cutie slash um, kind of terrifying looking thing, I think you should get it because I really enjoyed it and maybe you will too. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Is this something that you guys would like to build or not? Because I'm curious maybe it's only me that I like this. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering. All right, that's it. I'll see you around for the next video. Adios. And always a huge thank you to all the people on my Patreon for always supporting me. And a special thank you to all my ultimate fans who are Alphonse, BiblioJack4, Chris Wright, David Sikora, Jason Franklin Fergerger, Jamison Willis, Jesse Uli, Madi, Michael Lyons, Michael Lawrence, Mad Villain. Vertible 20, and Wes Jones. Thank you guys so much for all the support.